Hello guys, this video has been a, a bit of a long time coming really. <clears throat> uh, basically, I've had um, quite a few people asking me what the purpose of my subwoofer is, why I've made it. You know, well, I'm going to answer these questions. Um, and I know some guys have asked me if I could do a video of um, playing some music uh, that they wanted to hear. <clears throat> I haven't got round to doing that yet, purely and simply because I haven't got anywhere to physically put this. You can't like use it as a, a normal subwoofer. And hopefully you'll understand why. Um, in due time hopefully I will find somewhere I can just put this and uh, we'll be able to use it properly I'll try and make that uh, as soon as I can and then I'll start getting in more requests for uh, music that people want to hear so what is the point of it why have I done it well I've done it purely and simply because well for my own enjoyment really um, it was an interesting project. I found it on the internet, the original, the TRW17, and thought, "Wow, that's that's really good." I've I've wanted to do it for quite a while, and I'd not got around to doing it because I either hadn't had time or I just couldn't afford to. I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, and then one day I had nothing to do, and I was really bored, and I just thought, "You know what? I'll just research some subwoofers." you know see what's out there and and then I came across the TRW17 again and then I thought you know what I think I think it's time I've made a project something worthwhile you know so I decided to uh, do a little bit of research well I say a little bit I did quite a lot of research in it and uh, <clears throat> decided yeah it's time made it and here it is, although it's not exactly the same and uh, it's quite big and bulky and it weighs an absolute ton uh, it works really well surprisingly enough um, it does work very very well uh, thanks to the help of my father um, who supplied me with the uh, crossover and uh, thanks to my uncle who helped me with the metals and putting it together and stuff welding and what have you and you know other people thanks to them getting the material bit of uh, advice um, so yeah uh, the purpose of this the main reason of this is to replicate low frequencies <clears throat> without the need of subwoofers that are huge in size and take up lots of power. Now this subwoofer will replicate 1 Hz at at least 40 decibels plus which is incredible um, to say that the average subwoofer that you find in your car um, you know 1500, 2000, 3000 watts um, they can reproduce 1 Hertz they can do that no problem a lot of speakers can do it but it takes a hell of a lot of power you know like I was saying 3000 watts 2000 watts um, you know this only runs at 300 watts and it probably doesn't even use that the amplifier that's on it now this uh, what is it a uh, fusion this is rated at four, uh, 300 watts and it probably supplies around 180 watts RMS and uh, it will reproduce um, down to 1 Hz <coughs> um, on probably less than that whereas your normal subwoofer in-home subwoofer um, can replicate 1 Hz but you can't hear it you can't feel it whereas this you can feel it you can't exactly hear it you know it's there though because you can feel it um, and like I say 
it's um, basically it's a compact size although yeah it needs a massive room well not a massive room but it needs a lot of empty space for it to work but the unit itself is compact it's small um, and it works whereas you know you 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 subwoofer at home although that is the same size probably maybe a little bit bigger uses a lot of wattage and still can't reproduce uh, the frequencies that this can um, using this rotary subwoofer though um, I would recommend that you use also a um, a normal subwoofer one that uses a driver uh, and a cone rather than fins like this as well as this rotary subwoofer purely and simply because yeah this can replicate low fre low frequencies um, but it can't go into the hundreds like a normal subwoofer can where you will need um, a subwoofer to do that so for example an explosion goes off the uh, rotary subwoofer will kick in um, you know blow a couple of windows out at the home and then you'll have your normal subwoofer which will um, kind of smooth that out with the upper frequencies that this can't replicate um, I wouldn't also recommend putting anything more than 30 Hertz through this rotary subwoofer um, because high frequencies may shatter the blades as they are spinning at a uh, quite fast revolution <clears throat> so that kind of covers the purpose um, and why I did it um, a few of the users uh, of YouTube have asked um, how it works I did explain how it worked in um, the first video the DIY video of me actually like starting to make this I explained how it worked um, but it wasn't in great detail I was still kind of learning myself how all of this kind of worked uh, while I was making it and then I kind of fully understood it just after I finished making it um, basically the way this works is that the blades spin at whatever RPM um, and as it's spinning it uses air from a well I say it uses air it uses a volume of air from a different room um, and then that volume of air is then pushed into the listening room where the where you feel the frequency of the subwoofer the reason why that works is because the volume of air is being sucked out of the listening room so there's that low pressure um, in the room and you feel that low pressure and then when the other cycle of the frequency is hit the driver moves forward pushing the blades in the opposite direction um, putting high pressure into the listening room and basically that's how it works I have drawn a diagram here <clears throat> I'll show that to you so this is basically how I had it this is way two this is how I had it in my videos so we've got the listening room here the rotary subwoofer and then this is the empty space so basically what happens is the blades move in one position like this and then this will force the air into this room making the listening room low pressure and then again it switches making the blades turn forcing high pressure 
into the listening room therefore obviously you can feel it it's this, it works the same way as a speaker does uh, just with blades um, <clears throat> the other reason as to why this thing uses blades is because you can get more volume of air out of it than your normal speaker which is why it's so effective um, the first way which is how it should be set up is like this <clears throat> you can see it's slightly different you have the listening room still uh, the empty space but this time you have a baffle um, so this baffle gets rid of all of the rotary noise from the subwoofer because you get a lot of wind noise uh, I'll show you an example I'll just uh, spin this up real quick okay so you can hear that a lot of wind noise um, so yeah the the baffle will reduce the wind noise coming from the rotary subwoofer and also because of the way that it filters all of this is like foam or cotton whatever you want to call it um, this will filter out all of the noise and by the time the the air pressure or sound wave whatever you want to call it reaches the exit into the listening room you feel a nice smooth vibration rather than um, hearing lots of whooshing and rattling and all that kind of stuff you just get like a smooth subwoofer feel but at a very low frequency so I hope that explains uh, everything to you guys um, answers a couple of questions um, as to how it works and why I did it and all that kind of stuff um, I would like to say thank you very much for um, all of your guys support I've had a lot of people say like this is brilliant well done um, I wish I could do something like this as well this is amazing um, which really does you know I see that and it uh, it makes me happy so uh, thank you very much guys um, it's nice to see also I've got uh, well over 76,000 views on the, my videos as well now um, and also I have quite a few subscribers I've got 105 subscribers I think so far which is uh, quite uh, quite good actually um, to say I've only got a couple of videos on there um, so yes thank you very much guys for your support I hope this clears up a couple of um, questions that you guys have been wanting me to answer uh, if you have any more questions please uh, get in touch comment um, you know I'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys might have so uh, yeah thanks guys for watching um, and hopefully someday soon uh, I will be making another video on whatever you guys want me to make another video on obviously if it's stupid don't even bother but you know get your questions out there I'll be happy to answer them we'll sort something out cheers